one last short set of tips and tricks. The critical thing here is to switch between imagery. So I'm going to try to show you something here. We start the validation and we can switch between Google, Bing, S3. These are the three main ones and the three where we have dates here. Now the dates are not completely reliable due to the way that they are provided by the APIs. So what you have to look is where the, the change is located and how does it change from here? In fact, it is important to switch between these sources to see if something else can be derived from it because some of them you can zoom in further like Bing and Google, but with S3, you won't be able to reach that much of detail. So most critically, if you don't see it there, you have to go to Google Earth or look at the time, uh, Sentinel time series. Another trick is that if you activate directly the time, the Sentinel image here, you might have to zoom out a little bit so you see a bit better the pattern and remove the red pixels from the top. Now, you will get 10 locations to start with. This will be training locations. And after that, your score will reset to zero and you will start the actual campaign. This is important for you to know. And the most important, the part that gives most of the points is the uh, tree loss driver. In fact, this also takes away points, so be careful. Additional information that you can provide us here will be, will be granted with more points. And any comments, like we stated on the rules of the campaign, will be valued at the end of the campaign with a surprise price. Okay? Good luck and enjoy.